Would you do 60 bucks if I get the shifter too? It'd be like 10 bucks off. Man, I, I don't know. I, that that shifter, I've I've come down on that. Yeah. You know, it's that thing's work. Uh, we looked it up, and it's all there too. Yeah. And, it, and it's never been installed. Thrifting ain't easy. I'm feeling creepy. Comping diapers on my eBay app. It's on the playground. It's a yard sale. A barn sale. Can I have that bike? You have a bike. Mommy I can have two bikes. You just got a brand new bike yesterday. Remember? Mommy, I can have two bikes. Why? How you doing? Good. How are you this morning? Good. You see anything? Uh, it, a lot of stuff we don't have price, but everything's pretty cheap. Okay. So just ask me. I shoot you a price. Sweet. Sounds good. Thank you. It's too windy. It's very windy. Can you hold me in? Not any windy. What, babe? There's like a bunch of stuff underneath. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of those there. We got them for I think she's got a dollar. Yeah, yeah, dollar. And some of them is repetitive. Same thing, you know. Right. But uh there's different ones here i might grab some of those yeah. i don't want to start a pile yet but okay you're okay oh 78 oh wow yeah the records seem like they're in pretty decent shape yeah they uh mostly orchestra big band stuff like that how much you got on these uh, I had a dollar a piece on them, but you know, I'll, I'll make a deal on the stuff. Okay. Yeah, they're they're not bad at all. They don't look like they got a lot of play. And there's another box of them right there. Oh, back there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You're looking through those, aren't you, sir? Here, I can pull that out of there. I stuck it up under there to kind of get it out of the way. Yeah, well. And, I didn't want the dew to fall on it. Right. Man, we get heavy dew. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. Did you guys just buy this place or something? Yeah, a couple of years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> it's it's kind of overwhelming. But I got that all planted in hay out there. Yeah, that's all there, buddy. Oh, cool. And it tells you what it fits on the side there, like what cars you can put it on. That's pretty cool. How much you want on that? I'd have to have 50 out of that. 50? That thing, thing sells between two and three hundred dollars on the internet. Okay. I'm going to think about that for a sec. Oh, olive.
you want to wear that? Do you want me to put your shoe back on? Make that noise. What noise? How much you asking on the hats? Um, we was asking a dollar a piece. For okay. They're, uh, this, yeah, they don't even tell what they are. Kentucky Lake and... You know, like we had one in my home up on Mike Dunn. It was signed by all kinds of guys. Oh, really? Yeah. But it was a little dirty. And not that she might have threw it away. I told her, I said, that was probably worth some money. <laughs> you never know. Not, you know. Six, seven, eight, nine. Those are all new there. Okay. Yeah. And um, how about that green uh, Coleman cooler over there? Oh, I'll take three bucks. Three bucks for that? Okay. I'll grab that too. Kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. Here. More quick little look here. Yeah, I asked my daughter if she wanted that. She rides horses and stuff. Uh huh. And uh, she didn't want it, so that saddle belt. Yeah. Kind of cool. I think it's got a place for a whetstone, a knife, a gun. Shoot, cheap enough leather goods like that. I'm. Oh yeah. I'm game. I don't know. I don't know on these figures. Let me see. See, those are all plates, aren't they? Yeah, I think most of them. That's what they are. There's a few different things in there. I think I might grab the figures. And that's what these are. Now you, uh, you might want to check them though, but make sure okay. they ain't broke or nothing, you know. Sorry. What does she have on though? You know? Uh, a dollar piece. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm not too worried for a dollar. Yeah, I just don't. You know, they they're kind of worthless if they're broke, man. You know. Yeah. 
That's cool. Let's see, there's four of those. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. These are quarter feet, so 21.75. Would you do 60 bucks if I get the shifter too? Be like 10 bucks off. Man, I, I don't know. I, that that shifter, I've come down on that yeah. you know, it's that thing's work uh, we looked it up and it's all there too yeah and, it, and it's never been installed uh, so you'd be like 71 for everything about 65 is that where we're at here yeah yeah, five, yeah. nine twelve there's nine of those yeah 21 and, and then uh quarter piece on those okay. so 21 75 yeah uh, yeah, I'll do 65. 65? Cool. That'll yeah. work. Let me, let me show it to you. Though. Okay. I don't want somebody to get something, man, or not. As far as I can tell, everything is in here. Man. See, that's never been installed. It's still in the bag. Yeah. And it's got the little, you know, they turn that around right, right. put it through the plate, you know. And then you got this, this bag here and the cable. And then that one and as far as i can tell the directions are even in the bottom right. as far as i can tell there you know there's nothing missing out of it yeah and those uh bags are still sealed up and stuff aren't yeah they? oh yeah. yeah yeah there's that's what i said i couldn't find no no holes in them or yeah. nothing no looks like someone just bought it and never installed it yeah and we looked it up and because you know trying to figure out what it was worth right and uh they're between two and three hundred yeah. bucks that's cool 65 60 20 40 65 there well, you go man good luck with everything i buddy. appreciate you buddy good luck with the rest of the sale yep thank you Come right back and grab these figures. Oh, oh, you're good. Thanks. Oh, did you drop that, bud? Oh, yeah. Fell out of the bag. Thanks, awesome. man. Thanks, man. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Thanks. All right, guys. We are back from another yard sale. I guess this was more of a barn cleanout sale. The guy bought this property a couple years ago, and a lot of this stuff was just kind of left over from the previous owners. Bunch of cool stuff to look at. A lot of stuff I didn't have room for. A lot of stuff that didn't look like it was in the best condition. But we still did pick up a few things to resell. So real quick, let me show you what we grabbed. So I think we got him down to $65 total for everything. I did make a couple iffy buys, mainly because I was trying to just bulk in some value because my phone wasn't working very well and I couldn't, I couldn't really comp stuff out. So I grabbed all these hats here. I think there's nine hats. And honestly, they're not very great. There's a lot of like event hats and stuff like that. But there's two Everstart battery hats. My hope was just kind of that maybe I could sell these two Everstart hats for about 10 bucks a piece and kind of long tail these other hats for people that were at the event maybe. We'll see what happens. It's not that big of a deal. They're just hats. The second iffy buy were these Avon Christmas figurines. I don't normally buy Avon stuff at all, but these were Christmas figurines and they were like a buck a piece. And I thought, well, if they're gonna sell, they're gonna sell soon because Christmas is coming up. So I went ahead and grabbed all these for a dollar a piece. This is the Nativity's Collectibles, the Shepherd porcelain figure. This one's probably has the most potential, I would think. If you get a bunch of these Nativity figures, you can actually lot these up and do pretty well with them. One's not gonna do very well, unless you find the Angel. That one seems to do pretty good. And then these three are all from the Avon Christmas Memory Series. Got the 1982, the 1984, and the 1981. So we'll see if we end up being able to make any money on these. Again, dollar a piece, not too worried about them. A big box of random cords in every bag was like a quarter a piece. Most of them were just basic crap that I didn't even really want laying around. But I did grab a couple interesting bags. These, these two bags had some Apple cables in them. 
And then this is a Delorme Earthmate GPS LT20, and it was 25 cents. This actually sells for about 15 bucks on its own, so that's okay right there. I picked up this old Saddlemate construction belt right here. These belts have a whole system of, of accessories and pouches that you can add to them. And this one has like one, two, three, four pouches with it. And then each of these pouches has a model number on it. Like this is a Saddlemate SM114. This is a Saddlemate SM110. But it was just a nice leather tool belt with different pouches and it was five bucks so i grabbed it and i think we should probably end up getting maybe between 25 and 45 bucks for it somewhere in there i picked up this old coleman cooler here i believe it's from 1982 according to the date code on the bottom honestly i think that we're going to keep this one and do a little restoration to it the um, hinges need replaced on the back, but I'm thinking that possibly my stepdad could 3D print me some new hinges. So we're just going to clean it up, put some new hinges on it. Sarah might do some cool vinyl decal work on it. And this will probably just be our cooler for next year. So I'm pretty excited to have a little winter project coming up. But there definitely is a market for these old Coleman coolers. So when you see them and they're cheap, pick them up if you feel like shipping them. The best thing from that sale was this B&M Mega Shifter here. He wanted 50 bucks for this originally, and like I said, I wasn't getting very good reception, so I couldn't really comp it out. He was saying that it's worth between two and three hundred dollars. Brand new, that's pretty true. I think I think most of them are marked at about 330 bucks, brand new. This one, while it may have never been installed, the box is kind of roached out just because it's been sitting in a barn for so long. I might sell it new, open boxed, or or I might just go pre-owned, we'll see. But regardless, I still think worst case, we could get about 150 bucks for this, maybe closer to two or 250. So this, this was the main thing I wanted. And like I said, I was just trying to bulk in some value and make the deal a little more sweet because I didn't really know what this was worth. It just seemed kind of special to me. So that's everything we picked up from that sale. Not necessarily like mega home runs or anything, but for 65 bucks, I think that we still stand to make a decent little profit. But that's all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye. When they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me, I guess they'll know I'm buying this crap.